looking to upgrade and improve their quality and volume. Perfect. Um, so, so, uh, yeah, so we'll get straight to the store, uh, right on the homepage. Um, yeah. Great. Perfect timing too. Cause we just created a, what we call the Gutenberg block, uh, which will allow us to, to put any type of information. Um, plus we have a new plugin that we, uh, we're really excited about. It, it allows us to lay the products out in a, a very fashionable stat, uh, uh, fashion, you know, so, so, uh, everything can kind of be laid out really nicely. We have sliders that can uh, be added to it. Uh, there's uh -huh. a lot of potential with this kind of uh, new block that, that we've developed uh, yeah. for the store. So this is perfect, perfect timing. Uh, have, you, uh, have you looked at any other websites in the category? I, I looked around for dabbing sites, but typically it was taking me to dispensaries, not, not. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. So uh, what you, let me give you a couple. Um, there is Extractor Depot. Extractor Depot. Hey, let me type that in over here. And there's another one called Best Value Vax. And those are the two uh, big product suppliers. Both of those are um you know discount suppliers to dab and depot and dab and depot will be uh selling the, their products as well excellent here let me get this all in it took forever to load here we go yeah there's your extractor depot and then what was the the second one you were telling me best value vax dot com and that's V-A-C-S dot com. Oh, it popped right up. There it is. Okay, perfect. Is it shop BBB? Yeah, that would be, yep. Perfect. So let me toss this in here. There we go. Excellent. So we are working in the same space as these businesses. And these businesses are, are the big dogs in the space. And he's been a... a a customer of theirs for a long time and uh they have given him a super sweet deal for reselling their products so he makes a good chunk on every purchase but you know this is how their site works and as far as he's concerned this looks pretty good so you can use this as some sort of a a, a bit of a, a direction it's fantastic yeah yeah the the one the one issue uh, is it with the uh, Gutenberg block, uh, we don't really have a way to design it beforehand. It's kind of one of those things we send to development. It comes back, and then what I could do is set up a meeting with you and with the client, and then we we start bringing in all these pieces. Because here he has a slider. We can do that. Uh, here we have product blocks. We can do that. Right. Here we have. He liked product blocks. We had talked about that. And then here's more products on a slider. We can do that. Uh, this, uh -huh. this new block is, is amazing, but it's just, it, it's not our typical design style, which is we get everything locked down and then we do it. Uh, uh, so we're going to kind of do it a little backwards. Uh, basically the way the design will look is, is I'll have a piece in there, uh, and, uh, we'll put in another example of somebody else's store, but that'll just be a placeholder basically until, until we get uh, yeah put our own products in there exactly, right exactly yeah and then and then so i'll send it to development they're they're actually just going to put in the gutenberg block and then what we're going to do is is uh use that other plugin uh and we can do this live over the phone with you um i could even lay out like a few of my favorites uh and then we could we could show you what that would look like um but it's 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 so there, there are so many features that that i don't want to limit you guys, uh, I want to right. offer everything. Uh, and, and when I design it, I'll be limiting it just, just by the nature of doing it. So, so that's kind of why we're, we're leaning on doing it that way. But yeah, everything I'm seeing here, this is what our new, uh, new framework can do. So yeah, this is, this is great. Uh, and then let's look at extractor depot. So big industrial, these, are, are these really big machines or are they, no, they're not really big. Like those machines right there are probably three feet tall. Oh, okay. Yeah, they look uh, they look wild. Um, I watched the Vice yeah, yeah. documentary on it, and it it looks like the world of uh, dabs have has like uh, <laughs> really gotten modern here. You know, 
Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Technology has invaded this space in a big way. Man, yeah. The the original one I was watching, they were using like plastic buckets, and then they would uh, they had a pressure cooker that, <laughs> that they were using. Yeah, right, right. You know, like, that's funny. Yeah, so very cool. Yeah, we can do all of this stuff as well. So yeah, definitely the slider we could uh, include in there and all these pieces. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited about this. So cool. Uh, so what what we'll do is we'll have the the Gutenberg block at the very top. We're gonna, it'll basically be the header, uh, and then below that it'll be this new Gutenberg block, and that'll allow that whole space to be for sales. Uh, that'll be your store, and then directly right. below that we're gonna put in our normal stuff. You know, uh, your your uh, why us area testimonials things like that. So so yeah. I think it'll be pretty All right. cool. So cool. Well, yeah, thanks. Uh, sounds like we're coming to a good understanding here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, thanks for these uh, links. Uh, let me get back to this really quick. So, uh, so we got this answered, uh, and then, uh, would you like the images uh, and content to be solutions or problems looking for solutions? And what I mean by that is. Uh, you could either have yeah. the success story or the, the yeah the, I understand I understand never... what you're meaning there um, I would think the content should be solutions fantastic excellent and all these will go pretty quick so out of these three uh, what's your preference for an image filter uh, we have the dark background with light text and then all the way over here, we have a light filter with dark text. Well, the one in the middle is like useless shit. It is. That's I want to show that. This is a purposely uh, a very uh, busy image in the background. Yeah, you'd want to put a drop shade on that copy. We have a little bit of a drop shadow. Uh, but yeah, this, this is the worst case scenario. Absolute worst case scenario. I kind of want to show this off to, to everybody. So so out of these three, where, where do you think you'd... I think we're at uh, the first one, the dark filter with light text. Fantastic. Excellent. All right. Um, and then uh, image uh, treatment. Uh, uh, would you like the corners to be uh, sharp, soft, or rounded? Sharp. Sharp corners. And then with the buttons. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are we talking about on those product blocks? Uh, no. Uh, this is this is just wherever we place an image or something like that. It's just that way everything's uniform. So when we let's do... let's go. You know, if we're just talking, this is only about the border, the outline. Yep. Um, let's let's go with the soft. Soft, perfect. We can do that. And button options should be uh, the same, shouldn't they? Buttons and images, perfect. Uh, all right, uh, we're almost uh, through this, everything. So uh, so text weight options, uh, do you like the lighter style or the regular style? This is the more modern style. But yeah, I think the more modern style. Perfect, excellent. Perfect, all right. Uh, and then font size preference. Uh, we don't even start at 12, uh, which is your typical email. We start at 14. 16. Yeah, 14 for this kind of display, but I would think 16 is going to be more appropriate. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. All right. Uh, and then menu preferences. Uh, we have two styles. The hamburger uh, is the more modern style. Uh, obviously, right. it would be the mobile style for this one here anyway. Um, the classic view is is easier for people to understand immediately. Uh, they don't need to hunt around. Uh, uh, but the the positive of the hamburger is uh, it's very clean. Uh, it's yeah, and it saves uh, space in mobile display. Yep, yep, yep. So, but you do this does turn into a hamburger when you go to mobile, yep, right? Yep. So let's go with the classic menu. Classic, perfect. Excellent. All right. Um, and then next we have uh, your header contact info. Uh, we encourage you to put the phone number up there. Obviously, that's exactly what they want, right? Uh, is to have a contact. Phone oh, yeah, absolutely. Very prominent. 
And as far as the icon goes, I mean, do, um, will you have to choose between call today, an old handset, or a mobile icon? Exactly. Yeah, I was just going to ask that. Let's just, let, let's just keep it with call today. I, I recommend that because it allows you to change the text. So uh, you'll you'll be able to change this. You can say call in text today, call in text, you know, something like that. Yeah, um, right. We also, uh, this is a new thing we're doing. We're including an extra button. Uh, I call this the anything button. Uh, it means it can say anything and link anywhere in the site. So uh, would you like me to include one of those? Yeah, I think so. Would that be the button that would be most appropriate for uh, you know, moving people into the consulting services stream that it could be whatever you want. So you could say, you know, uh, consult with us today or contact us today, have a question, you know, something like yeah. that. And Answers to your questions here. Exactly. Like that. Yeah. And when they click it, it could take them to a page and that page could say, you know, it could, it could either be a, a, a question and answer page or it could be a contact. Yeah. Form. I think it would be, I think it would be a basic FAQ page and then also have the, you know, Call us now, call a live person now, and let's talk about your problem if they don't see it in the FAQ. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to actually write this out. So it's here. Maybe. And this can all change down the road, too. Uh, any Anytime you want, you can change it uh, and point it anywhere. Sure, it's just copy updates, right? Yep. A Q page uh, with back. Perfect. All right. And then we'll move forward. Okay. So uh, the home splash hero area. I'm going to skip this because we're actually going to. There was something here. at the bottom of that last page that we didn't talk about, wasn't there? Oh, sure. Yeah. This this is extra stuff, but we've already filled up the header. Um, oh, okay. So we do, we do have options to add directions if we wanted. Uh, but he can always do that. Or yeah, we don't need that. directions or maps. Yeah, you can. Not see. yet, anyway. Yeah. Um, we, can, we can add that once they get the brick and mortar in place, right? Exactly. Yeah, the anything button will do whatever yeah. this does. So you can add okay. the icon and whatever text you want. And then we also have search right. and navigation and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, and then I'm going to skip this because we're actually going to use the uh, store block uh, in yeah. place of this. So. That'll work. And then uh, lastly, we have the animation. Uh, I think there's one more question after this, actually. The animation piece, though, is uh, uh, something we, we can't really show here, but you can kind of see how titles slide in. Other blocks will kind of flip over. So uh, the way Franklin always says, it's like spice in a good dish where you make the right amount. Uh, so from no spice, which is zero, uh, all the way up to muy caliente, which is 10. Uh, if it's not nailed down, it's moving. Where on this spectrum do you think they'd be, feel comfortable with uh, animated elements? Um, I would think in the range of uh, three to five. Three to five. Three to five. And uh, if we overdo the animations, you can shut them off at any time too. So uh, yeah, okay. per block. So it's it's really easy. Uh, next is website character. Uh, so. Uh, over here in zero, we have classic, uh, which means I have seen this before. I know how this works. Contemporary is I feel like this is current. And cutting edge is uh, what is this? How do I use this? Uh, so there's yeah, a little bit because of they're you know because they're they're talking about technology and it's technology that is improving on a pretty regular basis. I would say somewhere six ish, seven ish. Six to seven, perfect. Perfect. All right. And oh, I lied. Uh, this is the yeah. last one. OK, so uh, we have images, uh, fewer images or images everywhere. Uh, the the more images means a, a slower load time, obviously. Right. I, I would put this I would put that in, you know, because we want to show all the products, obviously. Yeah. So I guess we'd go in a five there. Five, perfect. So, uh, what I'm kind of getting out of that is is lean more toward the product images and less towards the lifestyle. Kind yes, of lean way towards the product images. Yeah, perfect. Uh, and most of those, I mean, I'm, tell me how this is going to work. Are those images actually in our website, or when they, or, or are we just showing? 
what's coming from the manufacturer. Um, oh, no, yeah. So we, you know I mean? it'll all be in, in the database of the website. So uh, all those images will need to be pulled from the manufacturers. Uh, okay. And we'll load them into uh, uh, this, okay, this site. Okay, understood. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, and that's that's pretty much everything. That's it. Uh, so at this point, what I'll do is send it over to our designer. Uh, I'll also email you that uh, template to have filled out for the uh, brand strategy, uh, mm -hmm. um, the brand positioning statement. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to also wait to hear if, if there are any textures or anything like that. Since we're avoiding the pot leaf, uh, if they could give us a direction uh, to go with with some sort of texture or some sort of uh element that we could use inside the the site uh, uh kind of moving forward uh you mean a texture is in a fabric or a metal or something like that like uh like the uh, uh the, i don't know if you remember the pot leaves i had as a texture in the background just something subtle that's there it kind of uh, uh creates that extra edge in the blocks um, right. I always like to have something kind of in the background uh, uh, to kind of tie everything into the branding and, and let people know exactly where they are and, and things like that. So right. just, just kind of knowing what kind of imagery they want to use uh, would be really helpful. Um, if they yeah, don't I, I would key off of the fact that, you know, most of these products are stainless steel. Ooh, stainless steel. Yeah. Um, is there is there an icon or something like that that they could benefit from? Uh, hmm. We'll put that question into the brand stuff that I'm going to go over with them when you send it, and perfect. we'll have that conversation. Excellent. Yeah, I'll do that. And uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, uh, okay. just keep a, an eye out for that email, uh, and we'll get started on the layout at least for this. And then uh, once we get your info back. We'll just finish it up and send it over. All right, great. Excellent. Quicker we move on this, the better. Yeah, absolutely. We're, uh, we're, we're ready to move fast, so just you know, help us do it. Excellent. Yeah, I saw that, and, and that's that's why I wanted to expedite the meeting today. So uh, uh, this was perfect. So yeah, I think I think we have most of the stuff we need, and uh, we'll get those answers uh, as soon as we can. So, All right, cool, brother. Thank you very much for spending the time with me, and I'll look forward to your email. Yep, thank you. Have a good rest of your day. All right. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, Jacqueline. Uh, so let me uh, go back over here. Um, so I realize I started the video a little late. So I'll just kind of recap this stuff. Um, okay, so website goals. Okay, so so basically to kind of put it all in, in uh, he, he didn't really give us the, all the information. So, so I'm gonna kind of explain what they do really quick. So uh, they, uh, they produce a marijuana product called a dab or shatter or um, there's like a ton of names for it. People call it oil sometimes. But basically what it is is it's a, a technique uh, to extract the THC or the CBD, just the crystals from the, the plant material and put it into a super concentrated like liquid or, or harder kind of putty material it's really sticky uh, and what people do with that is they uh, uh, take it the it's a uh, little piece of wax it, they call it wax too because it, it actually feels and looks like wax and they put it on a a super hot surface uh, uh, that they usually heat up with like a blowtorch uh, like a little nail head or something like that and it's inside of like a big glass bong kind of thing and they drop the wax on that super hot surface and it instantly vaporizes and becomes smoke and then they they inhale and that's that's how they basically get the trip so what these guys do is they produce that um, but they want to move into uh, being kind of the source uh, uh, for others to to learn from 
uh, but mainly to buy from uh, so they can start making their own wax. Um, the the best analogy I came up with, I don't know if it was part of the video that I recorded or not, but uh, basically the way the analogy I came up with is is they're not the brewery, but they're the place where brewers go to buy their equipment uh, uh, to be able to brew beer. So that's that's kind of the way I would I would look at it. It's kind of also like another analogy is like a uh, uh, a baker. Uh, they don't bake the bread necessarily. I mean, they do it themselves, <laughs> obviously, but uh, that that's not their main business. Their main business is to sell to other bakers uh, the equipment to bake the bread. So that's that's kind of the way I think of it. They want to avoid the whole pot leaf imagery. Uh, I already went down that route, uh, which is really funny because their their color scheme is totally Rasta, which is it's just funny. Um, let me. Open that up, here we go. And so we're gonna get the brand positioning statement from them. Uh, but as you can see here, their logo is this uh, kind of maroon red uh, with the kind of gold and the green. Um, here's this gradient. Uh, here's the color palette I was thinking uh, we could use. And then uh, this this was really to just show the limitation of the JPEG. Uh, so he's going to be getting us the AI or EPS uh, for this logo as well. Uh, but feel free to use this as a placeholder for now. And then once we get that, uh, we just need to pop that in. Uh, he wants to use more imagery of the products. Uh, and so avoid like cartoons and things like that. Definitely want to, he, he definitely wants to lean more into the product images. It sounds like this is really just going to be a selling site, uh, which means it's just going to be a storefront. Uh, so, so you know, we're not going to have those like nice lifestyle images necessarily everywhere. It's just going to be very clear and to the point because people who are on the site they are probably there to buy uh, uh, what they're selling anyway. So, um, and then here uh, we have this horizontal gradient. I was thinking. This could be another example of the Savers Digest thing. I showed it to the customer. Let me see if I can pull it up again. Well, that's fun. Oh, I have it over here. All right, so I thought that's what I typed. Oh, I forgot my ass. Anyway, so uh, so you can see here kind of what I did with this. That's what I'm asking for is 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 some sort of icon or something we can use uh, here in the background uh, to kind of fit all this. Uh, it sounds like they kind of want to avoid that that like kind of pot smoking kind of feel, even though their logo screams it. So good luck with that. Uh, it's going to be kind of difficult. But yeah, so that's that's kind of it, I think. Um, uh, we're going to be waiting on some info from them. I wanted to get this to you, though, sooner than later, because uh, we have two other projects coming in right after this. Uh, uh, we have a, um, what's the, I'm trying to remember them. Uh, there's, there's one dental sleep apnea clinic, uh, and then the other one is a Western wear company. Uh, so they, they own a Western wear uh, store. Uh, pretty conservative. I imagine we're going to be using a lot of wood surfaces and American flags and all that good stuff uh, throughout there. Uh, but yeah, basically that's kind of the whole deal uh, is, is I wanted to get this to you as soon as possible so you could kind of get, get cracking on it um, and we could get it back early. It sounds like Steve just really wants this thing done as soon as possible. Um, Oh, and and the the whole uh, the uh, Gutenberg block is is going to be key for you. Um, it sounds like that's going to take up most of this stuff, so this is going to be a really quick design for you. I think it's just a let me double check. I think it's just a deluxe Diamond Depot deluxe. Yeah, so it's just the deluxe. So um, basically, all you need to design is the header. Uh, then below that, um, 
uh, we're going to add a image of a uh, storefront. Uh, I'm going to have to find those. Though. Let me see if Franklin posted it here. Um, we're going to want to add the images of the storefront and then Sorry, I'm looking for it right now. Storefront blocks. There we go. Wow, wow. Excellent. So you can go to this site here, Storefront blocks, um, and what? Oh, come on. So you can kind of see here how they they lay things out. So what I would recommend is is just kind of uh, copy uh, a few elements that you saw on the other. Like I saw this piece there uh, in that other site. Uh, there was a slider. So so maybe add the slider. And what I mean by add it is just go in, find an example that's doing it. Here's one. Uh, so here we have a slider. So, oops, you can't click on it. Never mind. Somewhere in here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so here's like masonry blocks, square blocks. Um, so the first one we'd want is the... Oh, that's so annoying. I swear there was a place inside of here. Can we grab this? You can. So uh, just grab these and mask them out, if that makes sense. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, maybe I click on the blocks. Oh, this site is so annoying. I think they just changed their site over because uh, this is a lot easier to use. Um, we were able to kind of see things individually earlier. Maybe, maybe what what you could do is just kind of do grayscale really quick and 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 just kind of create this look. Um, but but don't spend too much time on it because we're going to do it live with the client over the phone is the idea. Um, by by we I mean me actually. So I'm gonna call up the client uh, and and we're gonna once the site's back from dev and we're gonna actually install this plugin and get the pieces in that they want, uh, including a slider uh, and maybe some product blocks, things like that, and kind of make it the ultimate storefront. Because uh, uh, this will be the first site that we can kind of show this, this new functionality off to, so yeah. So yeah, I guess uh, let me know if you have any questions. I won't blame you if you have a mini uh, out of all this. Uh, it's kind of frustrating when, when they don't take the stuff seriously, but you know be what we do so anyway uh have a good rest of your day and uh i'll talk to you later uh feel free to call me too this weekend if if you get stuck i'm going to be working this weekend on some other brand strategy stuff uh for a summer camp i'm working on so anyway uh have a, a good day and i'll talk to you later thanks bye